Well, we came here to monitor the elections to see if these elections meet all standards of really democratic process, electoral process. And I should say that after visiting many places and after consulting also with our colleagues who were visiting other places and also other observers, uh, I can with tremendous satisfaction say that we found these elections obviously not absolutely perfect because there is no electoral process which is perfect. So there are some obviously complaints, something to be improved. But that is certainly nothing which would somehow um, make us feeling that these elections are not fair, are not democratic, and that these elections should not be recognized as such. And we do hope that ongoing process, that stabulation of the votes in single mandate constituencies and handling the whole process of complaints will be equally fair and will result finally with a universal acceptance of the outcome of this election, uh, also by international community, which is very important for the standing of Ukraine uh, in, the, in the international community. This electoral process which we witnessed in Ukraine was fair, was good enough to fully recognize the outcome of these elections uh, and let's keep that Ukraine will take good would use of, of, of this process and really move forward. Well, you know, people are fully entitled to have different political views. After all, that's what democracy is really about. Mm -hmm. uh, in various countries, uh, we still have, for example, communist parties like in, in, in Czech Republic. Uh, one could think that after what has happened in this country, after the, the, the joining NATO and the European Union, a communist idea would be totally discredited. Apparently it was not. Uh, so I think that we cannot actually deprive the, this right of having views which we cannot agree, but uh, which we must tolerate, uh, you, you know, so people have the right to, to think otherwise. And I think honestly that if that there will be a total unanimity in, in Ukraine about how the country should be run and what should be the political program for the next part and how this program should be implemented, that would be rather unhealthy. It is good to have you know, opposition, provided this opposition and is a constructive one and shares some basic democratic values with the others. I think that, you know, Maidan was a kind of a revolution and every revolution brings new people to the forefront. And after all, in Solidarity Movement in Poland, I'm Polish by the way, uh, we also had, you know, total, the same situation. Totally new people came to power. Uh, our Prime Minister, Mr. Mazowiecki, uh, was not a member of Politburo, was not in the government under the communist time, but we managed. So I think that having new people means that there is a sort of a new blood injected into the political process and I do hope that it is not only the result of the people directly from Maidan coming to the forefront but also people from completely new parties like the party of Mr. Sadovoy from Lviv. They are new people and I think that this is a very health phenomenon in Ukrainian on the Ukrainian political scene that you know new people are coming to the forefront and they will take responsibility for their country.